This is the pre-lab video for our process chromatography lab here at the Red Deer College. Uh, in front of us we have a Rosemount 7, 700XA gas chromatograph. Uh, I'm going to do a quick, quick demonstration of the components that we have here for this analyzer. In the back we have two uh, high pressure gas cylinders. The one here on the left, this blue cylinder, contains our calibration gas and the red one in the back there has our helium carrier gas for the analyzer. Um, right now I have the, ca the calibration gas um, bled down. You can see here the gauge is at zero. The discharge gauge of our two-stage regulator is at zero and the uh, high pressure side is at zero as well. Um, so we also have a live uh, natural gas sample here from the college that's plumbed into the analyzer because that's what this analyzer is designed to do. It's designed to analyze and figure out how much of each component is in natural gas. If we look down here, this is our sample conditioning system. You'll see we have these two bulkhead, quarter inch bulkhead unions right here. One has this steel braided, stainless steel braided hose coming from the calibration cylinder, calibration gas cylinder, and the other has uh, is coming this red polyplastic tubing line is coming from our natural gas line over here. So they flow down into our sample conditioning system. You can see, so this valve right here, this is where our calibration gas flows to. It flows through this check valve and then up into the analyzer. There's only the two streams hooked up. We have one for the calibration gas here on stream four and on stream one, this is for our live sample of natural gas. So, what you'll notice that's different between our cal sample in and our stream one, where our natural gas flow is in, and the live sample, they both have a check valve, but this guy has a Genie Supreme filter to filter out any possible dust or dirt or anything that could get into our analyzer and cause issues, into our chromatograph and cause issues. Um, so we want to protect it from that. Also off the bottom here, we have a line that goes to a variable area meter, a Brooks variable area meter, and another needle valve here that's labeled stream one bypass. That allows us to flow gas from our sample line um, and bypass it right to vent. And what that allows is for us to constantly flow gas so we get a live representative sample from the actual piping or the actual process. Um, so we would turn that on if we have a long sample line um, and wanted to try to kind of purge out all the uh, old sample. So in the lab, you guys will be using that to, to, to purge out um, any of the old sample gas so we get a, a, a realistic of, of what's actually in the pipe right now sample, a representative sample. And then you can see here the tubing, this eighth inch tubing flows up and over into stream one. So stream one into our analyzer is the live sample and stream four is the calibration. And this analyzer has the ability, it has a bunch of valves and stuff inside here that will allow it to select and analyze either stream, the calibration gas, the, the gas from the calibration stream on stream uh, four, or the natural gas from the college here on stream one. Um, so kind of our, our, I guess our, our hazards here on this lab, we have uh, obviously flammable gas, we have natural gas, uh, and our helium is also very high pressure, about 2,500 psi when it's full, and uh, the natural gas, the calibration gas cylinder is about 500 psi. So we've got flammability, pressure hazards, possibility possibility of exfixation probably wouldn't happen because we'd have to be in a, in a smaller space. Uh, if our helium all leaked out, it could purge all the oxygen out of the room possibly, and it would be a hazardous atmosphere. So there'll be some pre-lab questions to answer. Oh yes, one other thing I wanted to show. I just ran a, um, uh, a sample of the live of our, of our uh, natural gas here at the college. And here's a picture of the chromatogram. So this is the MON 2020 software that's used to interface with the gas chromatograph. Uh, and you can see right here, we've got our, our chromatogram being produced. This large peak right here is the methane gas. We've got a lot of methane gas in our, uh, in our natural gas. Um, when you do the lab, when you, when you look at the, ca at the calibration gas, you'll see a lot of things showing up here because the calibration gas has um, a lot of components in it, whereas the actual natural gas only has one, two, three, maybe 
one, these three right here are the most prevalent or the most, uh, have the highest concentration in the natural gas. And when you do the lab, you will find out what those are. So there should be some, there will be some uh, questions to answer, pre-lab questions to answer based on this video.